Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to add a MailChimp form to your Adobe Muse website. Uh, for those of you who have not heard of MailChimp, uh, MailChimp is a way for you to obtain email addresses from anyone going to your website and uh, creating an email newsletter so that you can send to that email list that you collect from people going to your website. Uh, it's really useful. Uh, it's totally free uh, unless you want to pay for some advanced features. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty seamless to integrate into Adobe Muse. So I'll show you how to uh, do that. So the first thing we're gonna, gonna do is go to uh, MailChimp.com and you'll want to sign up for free, uh, kind of create your account. I've already have mine created. So um, you just do, there we go, Muse for you and then put in the uh, password, log in. And basically to create a form in uh, MailChimp, I'm not gonna go over this in detail because um, I just wanna go over how to create a form and add it to Adobe Muse. So the first thing I need to do is create a list. Uh, so I'll create um, a list and I'll call this uh, Muse for you and default from email john at Muse for you shop.com John and thanks for joining. Oh, uh, remind people how they got on your list. You went to my website. Thanks. I mean, obviously, something a little bit better than that. Uh, contact information, all that stuff, and daily summary one by one. Um, yeah, you can set some different uh, options here. So, like if you want a daily summary of how many people have subscribed to your list, you can get a daily summary, um, or you can do one by one every time somebody subscribes, or uh, one by one anytime somebody unsubscribes. So you click uh, save, and there's my news for you list. So if I click on lists, I have my, uh, you know, they give you little um, uh, tips there. So if I click on list, I have my Muse for you list. If I click on that, uh, I can now go to sign up forms. So I'll click on sign up forms and I want to cr first create a general form and then I can embed the form. So if I click uh, select here, create a general form, uh, this will be fine for now. I mean, I can add more things to it. Like they have email address, first name, uh, last name, and I can add a message here. Um, you know, fill out the form below to receive a free icon pack. Save and close. Kind of give it a little incentive there. And I can style it to a little bit more. I mean, you know, change the color, change the, um, the size of the text, I believe. Yeah, but yeah, basically you can kind of style it a little bit and things like that. So I'll close this and here we have email address, first name, last name. Um, we can even add a website. So if we click here, website, it adds website and you can give it labels and different things here. And very good. So let's go add a field. See, they have add a field and field settings. And you could even do a phone number if you wanted to. All right, so yeah, there's plenty to play with here, kind of to create your form. And uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll add text as one more. There we go. And I'll title it um, message. Okay. And message, oh, save field. All right, so there we go. Email address, first name, last name, website, phone number, and message. Okay, that's kind of a lot of information for a form. Usually you just want an email address, first name, and last name so that they don't feel like they have to fill out too much and you can get their email address and send them um, a, a newsletter. Uh, then you can design it a little bit and translate it. So like, yeah, you can just design this, but I'm gonna show you how you can actually design it in Adobe Muse. Um, so that's pretty much it for creating the form. So if I go to, uh, to lists, 
I go back to Muse for You, and I go back to Sign Up Forms, and then I go to Embedded Forms. If I click Select, uh, you can see that that first general form that I created is now here. Um, you know, email address, first name, last name, website, phone number, and message. And basically, um, you have a few options here. You can en en enable evil pop-up mode. I wouldn't really recommend it because I don't know if all browsers support it where the list pops up. You can disable all JavaScript, include archive link, include monkey rewards link. Yeah, and just a few different options here. Um, you can title your form and different things like that. But actually in Muse, you can change uh, a few of these options right in the code which I'll show you in a second. Uh, so this is the code here that we need to copy in order to uh, get it into Adobe Muse. So if I just click here it'll just copy it which is a cool function in uh, MailChimp and if I hit Command C or if I right click copy uh, Command C on my Mac, Control C on a PC or you can right click and copy and then we're gonna go to Adobe Muse and this is where we're going to insert our code. So to insert code into Adobe Muse, you go to Object, uh, Insert Widget, uh, no, sorry, Object, Insert HTML, and then right here, you just paste uh, that code that you copied. So you right-click and paste, Command-V uh, on a Mac, or Control-V on a PC, and there it is. I just hit Command-V and pasted it in, and if I click OK, this form gets generated. Um, now that doesn't look too great, but what's cool is that you can just stretch out this uh, this HTML form and make it bigger, which is really cool. So you can actually play with a little bit of the styling of this form right in Muse by just making this uh, HTML element bigger or smaller by just dragging the right or any of these um, little squares here on the outside of the um, form. So very good, now if I hit Command Shift E, uh, I now have this MailChimp form in here that works really well. Uh, the email address is the only required field. These are all not <laughs> required because I didn't set them to be required in uh, MailChimp. Uh, so yeah, it looks all looks good. And if I click subscribe, I mean, like I can subscribe to my email list. I'll just use uh, my Gmail um, address and John website www.newsforyoushop.com phone number uh, enter a valid URL I might have to type in HTTP there we go and um, subscribing if I can spell subscribing subscribing to your email list okay and if I hit subscribe almost finished we need to confirm your email address to complete the subscription process please click the link in the email we just sent you. So if I go to my email, and there we go, I should get, uh, I have a few email inboxes, there we go. I should get an email um, fairly soon from MailChimp. And let's see, okay. I don't really wanna show my inbox too much, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it goes to the inbox and then the person clicks accept uh, to subscribe to this mailing list. And then um, then if we go back here, if I go to my lists, um, there's no subscribers yet because I haven't actually confirmed in my email. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite working yet because I haven't uploaded this site to uh, a web server, so it might not actually work. But yeah, basically the, the user receives an email uh, from your mailing list letting them know that they've subscribed and after they click accept, uh, you'll have that email in your, um, in your lists. Um, it'll say manage subscribers and it'll show the subscriber here and then you can create a campaign and actually um, create a newsletter. They have great templates and it'll let you create a newsletter that you can send uh, to a bunch of uh, people. Yeah, that you can send yeah, to a bunch of uh, subscribers that have subscribed to your email list. All right, so that's pretty much it for MailChimp. Um, there has been a known bug with uh, this form and Adobe Muse. I don't, I'm not sure if they fixed it. Uh, last time I, I was working with it, I had to kind of do a little workaround 
If you find that it's not working or if it's breaking your site at all, uh, let me know in the discussion and I'll be happy to make another video on how to fix that bug. But I think Muse might have fixed it in their latest updates, but not sure. Again, if your site breaks at all, if you get an error message or some type of message, uh, let me know and that could be because of your MailChimp form and I'll make another video on how to fix it. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.